Second, Allah said, Al-Qayyum. Al-Qayyum. Those are the names of Allah. Al-Hayy, Al-Qayyum. Qayyum means the one who sustain the universe. And we say Qayyum, I would like you to personalize it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, brothers and sisters, does not sustain every, only every cell of our body. You know how many cells we have in this body? From head to toe? Can you count them? Millions. Millions of cells. You know how many electrons and neutrons in our bodies? You know how many fish in this universe? How many mi you know, microbes? How many germs? How many bacteria? How many, any other creation, how many stars? Who is good in astronomy? How many stars in the universe, yeah? Billions. Billions of stars? How many stars are there in the Milky Way? Which is the solar system existing? How many stars in the Milky Way? How many stars? Millions of stars in the Milky Way. In it one galaxy. How many galaxies are there? There's a billions of stars. Billions. And the, star, the sun we see is a medium star. A medium star. That's so close to us. You know when they talk, in, they talk to us every day that temperature is 90? Today, if you walked on the street in the midday, you would be sweating. Because the medium star is so bright. This earth we live in, brothers and sisters, how much of it do we inhibit? All of this noise we make, all of us, with all these nations, 25% of it only been occupied by human beings. The rest of it is water. There is more fish than human beings in the face of earth. All of this problem we have, 25%. Within it, we have continents, like North America. Within the continent, we have a country called the United States. Within the United States, we have a state called Virginia. Within Virginia, we have county called Loudoun. Within Loudoun, we have a city called Stirling. Within Stirling, we have a building called Adams. In Adams, we have room. Can we locate ourselves in the universal map? And when you talk about majesty, when you talk about the greatness, Allah said, Al Qayyum. Is it Maghrib time? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. We need to call it then. Inshallah, we'll stop here for, and then we'll continue after Maghrib. I was saying that before the Maghrib, we say that in order for us to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have to consult the Quran. Because in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed to us who is he. He talked about himself. And as made the selection of this ayah, as one of the ayahs you need to contemplate on, and I said before it that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala started the ayah by saying, Allahu la ilaha illa hu. There's no God but he, worth of worship. And I said there's many ilah, there's many aliha that people worship in this dunya. Whether ilah power, in prestige, ilah of money, ilah of materialism, of whims and desires, loving someone because they're famous or beautiful, to the level that they worship them. As we're going to see also in this class today, what do we mean by worshiping? And anyone that it becomes so great in our eyes, we have to examine that person against the following criteria Allah put in this beautiful ayah, ayat al-Kursi. And I said one of the best, one of the first thing Allah said after la ilaha illa hu, he said al-hayy. One of the attributes of Allah is ever living. 
and nothing that is capture our soul and our eyes or become fascinated with is safe forever. No matter how powerful we are, how much prestige we have, how much wealth we have, we have to die. The fact that the day we were born, our birthday, also being marked with it, our death day. Every one of us has to come to that fact. Not only human being, but everything else in the universe shall perish, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kullu shay'in halik. Everything will perish, illa wajha, illa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, except Allah. Therefore, anyone or anything that we think that is, we love so much, we become dear to our heart so much, we need to examine it. And again, is this first criteria? Is it lasting? Can it last for good? Can we last for good? Al-Hayy. And I was talking about Al-Qayyum, and I gave you these examples of this universe. How many stars, how many things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created in this universe. And Allah sustained every one of them. Brothers and sisters, when we woke up in the morning, Allah has sustained the soul of every one of us sitting here. Give it life back. Every single one of us. Allah sustained us as we go to sleep tonight. And when we wake up in the morning, He's the one who's sustaining us. Al Qayyum. He does not only watch human beings, He watches every other creature that's in this universe. The billions of stars, the billions of electrons and neutrons, the billions of cells, 